to close that gap. Ferguson. Well, looking for his first goal of the season, Darren Ferguson there. That deflected off Red Nap. It's Ferguson again. And you do feel that he needs to, a goal to get going, to lift his confidence. Owens header. Red Nap popping foot through. This is McManaman. Mulby. And again. Hutchinson. Oh, they're backing off him. And it came off Bruce. And it's ended up in the back of the net. And Liverpool have taken the lead. And Hutchison has played a major role for Liverpool again. Well, they've allowed them to work the position, didn't they? I said if they allow Liverpool to pass the ball around the three openings, we could pay for it. And how will Liverpool go from here? Uh, just showing one or two signs of defending perhaps a little deeper than Graham Souness would like. Having got their noses in front. Giggs has the space to get past Marsh. There is. Wonderful work from Giggs. McClare tried to let it run. And it was a, a hammering try from Ince. Taking a chance at times, Liverpool. They really are. And when they're pushing up, with no real pressure on the ball, they're just playing, coming up, trying to play offside, and really, nearly paid for it. Well, Manchester United have gone out of Europe already because of an inability to score goals. Now they've stuck Ryan Giggs through the middle. Very nearly played off straight away. Well, Torben Picnic just completely went to sleep there. There's absolutely no danger, and he just treated the presence of Ryan Giggs as if he wasn't there. Superb touch from Giggs, but just doesn't get up high enough. Rushes flick, hits Hutchison again. Oh, and it looped up for a corner and just for an instant it looked as though it was going to be a similar second to Liverpool no, I just wonder if he'd have known could he have just laid it back into Ian Rush's bar Rush plays it past and then disappears and he comes in Hutchison but look at Rush just on the left of the picture one deflection for him one against him coming from midfield Manchester United aren't keeping track of Don Hutchison Mulby, look at Hutchison free again. He's a similar build to Rush, really, maybe a little bit talker, taller rather. Here's Ferguson. And Chelsea's again. In from Parker. Off the knee of Nickel, headed back by Ince. McClare beating Steve Nickel in the air, but not quite enough movement around him for Manchester United Hughes for Parker oh, it's a fine ball Ferguson was the most committed at the cross but it's brought away by McManaman Giggs having to track back Liverpool again again well represented in the centre of midfield Mulby all for Rosenthal United are opened up the ball past Schmeichel, but not past Pallister. Rosenthal again. Back to him from Hutchison. Ronnie Rosenthal. Red nap for the cutback. Rush! A moment of history for Ian Rush. This genuinely great goal scorer now leads the Liverpool list. The magic number, 287. And oddly, his first in ten attempts at Old Trafford, now to be remembered as the ground where he overtook Roger Hunt. Ferguson. That's a fine ball for Giggs. Now Manchester United need this one to go in. Grovela came up with a save of some significance for Liverpool. We didn't get to the grips with the game at all until 
the middle of the second half, we made a substitution that brought Quentin Blackmore into a wide right because we felt we needed to get the ball in the penalty box against them. And it worked well for us. We scored two great goals from Mark Hughes late on in the last 10, 15 minutes. One in the last minute, the equalised in the last minute. And um, if it had gone any longer, I think we'd have won the game. 20 minutes left. And still the two goal divide in favour of Liverpool. McLaren. It's a corner. Bruce and Pallister already on the move. Well, you sense you need something soon, don't you? Crowd are just up to volume a little notch. They sense the team need a little bit of support. And they're trying to lift them. That's Hughes. Can he get to it a second time? Not quite. And Jan Mulvey, I think it was, who towed it behind. Brian McClear's the one who gets in the way of Hughes' initial header. Climbs brilliantly for this, gets the power there. But it's Brian McClear who stops it. Bruce is getting help from the quarters he wouldn't have expected. Well, well, this drop for United. Giggs, it's Blackmore. Takes it first time as he probably had to do with Nickel catching him up. redeveloped and uh, anything that benefits the spectators has got to be encouraged but it's not helping Manchester United not having that partisan population of the Stretford end at the end that they're attacking Hughes the end that they're scoring are they they are 2-1 well I say they may take a piece of magic and what a magical finish it was from Mark Hughes superb vision Spots Crobrell off his right and just lifts it off. Watch this as it's played in. He has a quick look. There it is. Sees Bruce off his line and thinks, have some of that. Superb finishing. So you talked about the touch of inspiration and here it is. The judgment of it and the, the touch on the ball was absolutely magnificent. I mean, you won't get better than that. I mean, that is a typical Mark Hughes uh, super goal. You know. Rush to turn. Played it straight to Blackmore, hoping that Burrows was behind him. It's a United throw. Ian Rush simply trying to use up time. And his record-breaking goal won't mean quite so much if it doesn't turn out to be the winner. Parker. Leclerc going for this one. Giggs. Nickel hesitated. A fantastic finish for Manchester United. Well, would you believe it? What a great ball that was in from Ryan Giggs. And he's got the result of the game that for a long period of time they look to be losing. All the scoring responsibilities seem to be heaped on his shoulders. Two in the last ten minutes for Hughes. Well, it's something you don't see enough of for me in these days. Brian McClear makes it difficult for Mike Mars, but it's delivered to the near post, and that's how you attack the ball in there. He's got every right to be delighted with that.